My name's Debbie Gardner and I work for Myeloma UK as a myeloma information specialist and prior to that I was a clinical nurse specialist. I think when people come home from a stem cell transplant it, it can be surprising to them how tired they feel, you know, the depth of fatigue that they feel because I guess everybody when they're coming home they want to think okay I've done this now and I'm well and I'm going to be getting back to normal but actually the recovery continues at home and you're not instantly going to feel like you did prior to the transplant you know you are still going to be in recovery so you are going to be more fatigued you're still going to be trying to get your appetite back you may still be experiencing some symptoms such as an upset tum, but you will be being monitored. You'll be going back to the hospital regularly, certainly for the first couple of months after the transplant, you'll be staying in touch with the team. So even though you're at home, there is still support there and you will still be able to speak to the team if you're having any problems or issues do think about what support you've got at home. So if somebody lived alone, for example, um, it might be helpful for them to have a family member or a close friend stay for a few days initially um, when they come out of hospital. You know, they're gonna be tired. Um, they may need a bit of extra support in terms of getting in supplies um, or help with housework. Although you won't have to strictly follow the neutropenic diet that you would have been on in hospital, your immune system would have recovered to a degree, food hygiene is still very important. And having very good food hygiene, so making sure you know that the kitchen is clean, that your food preparation is undertaken carefully. To a degree, you do have to listen to your body and do things that are right for you and how you're feeling. So for some people, they may think about going back to work, um, say, three to four months after their stem cell transplant. But for others, it could be a little bit longer, depending on how they're feeling and how their energy is. So do talk to your employer about possibly starting by doing, um, you know, a part-time approach before you eventually extend out to returning to full-time employment. Listening to your body is really important and maybe talk to your nurse specialist or to your doctor about your plans uh, and get their view on it. In terms of timing for going abroad, again, it is individual, but generally speaking, doctors um, would usually prefer for patients to not go abroad until approximately six months after their stem cell transplant. When you come out of hospital following stem cell transplant, you are considered on the road to recovery. Your blood counts will have recovered to the extent that the doctor is comfortable for you to be back at home and in your own env environment. But it is about being sensible and thinking about infection risks. So of course you want the support of friends and family, but if somebody has an infection, maybe ask them to stay away. Myeloma UK have a number of resources to help support people. So in addition to the free phone info line, um, we also have a discussion forum that you can access via our website. We have the peer network program where we can connect people um, on a one-to-one -one basis via the telephone. We have over 90 support groups in operation across the UK and these can be a great place to go and meet with other people um, who may have some shared experiences. My main piece of advice to patients who have undergone stem cell transplant would be be kind to yourself and be gentle with yourself. You will get there. You know, you will um, recover your energy, um, but it is going to take time. So listen to your body, take small steps, um, but you will get there. And 
please think about taking the support that is on offer, whether that's from friends, family, or from your healthcare professional team, you know, the doctors and nurses looking after you. Do talk to all of them about how you're feeling and get any support that is on offer.